Hey everybody, how's it going? Alexander here, High Winds EDC. Um, this is my first unboxing in the great state of Maryland. We'll get more on that later, but I really wanted to check this guy out. This is an unboxing from uh, a really cool uh, person. He reached out to me. He asked if I would like to try something out. Um, this is by a company called um, Tempered Trail. I will link them below. This will obviously have to be reversed or something, but it's Tempered Trail on Instagram. He reached out to me and said, hey, would you like to try something out? Uh, I'd love to have it featured on your channel uh, and have you take some photos of it. And I said, you know what? Yeah, I'd like to do that. I liked his designs. He let me pick out a design. I don't know what color scheme or anything, but I did get to pick out like the, the format. So that that's really, really, really cool. I really appreciate that. But um, sorry for the, the background. But anyways, let's get into it. I'm going to go ahead and use this. This is the Oz Machine Company Roosevelt Texas Edition. And we're going to go ahead and get this cut open. Sorry. It's holding it up. There it is. Extra piece of cardboard was kind of holding it up. Awesome. Inside, uh, it says, thank you so much for wanting to check out my work, Alexander. I can't wait to see your video. Uh, and see your thoughts. Uh, this is from a gentleman named Nathan. Nathan over at Temper Trail. Brother, thank you. I really appreciate you reaching out to me. I really appreciate this. Uh, check him out. This is him. All right. We're going to get into this. Comes with uh, the typical frillies, like the cardboard frillies inside there. Really wonderful packaging, um, which the, the unboxing process is part of the buying experience. Okay, guys? So it's got a lanyard right here that's holding it in a canvas little pouch we're gonna get this open and check it out wow cool so this is a new wallet from tempered trail and i got to pick this out he sent me over a couple of his designs said which one would you like best and so i got to pick this out this is called i believe the johnny um, which I really like uh, because I don't know if you guys know, but uh, Alexander is the, the name I go by, but John is my uh, government name. So the Johnny is actually really, really cool. I'll have to tighten this little lanyard up real quick so it's not to slip out of itself. But yeah, it's really cool. And it does take, I'm not going to say it's a, it's a carbon copy, but it takes uh, some cues from the Rustic Heirloom. It's wider though, so I'll, I'll take the Rustic Heirloom Hitchhiker uh the johnny is wider and it is also just about the same height this way and this way that is pretty much maybe it's a little shorter as well in some dimensions um let's see with the rustic heirloom you get two pockets you know you get the main pocket which is great which i carry some a bunch of cards in i'm not going to show those off to you guys uh and you got this back uh, quick access pocket that you can use for cash and stuff like that i don't have any cash on me right now but you take this and it unfolds and it seems like you get your your uh you can throw some cards in here which i'll just i'll just throw my whole stack in here hold on let me uh do a couple let's just do my first two like my primary debit card and my id those are going to be my first two inside you can probably throw some cash in here you can throw some extra cards in there wrap it up and it will also um seat some some uh, cash as well so there you go which i really like because it does take the that same um kind of ergonomic pocket factor that the heirloom has but it creates its own design a complete fold over uh almost like a bifold style um or a trifold rather and yeah you can still have some cash in there too so i can go like that i can have cash in there look at that awesome stamp by tempered trail what a great maker's mark uh, built to outlast. I like that. That's a really, really good logo. That's a really good uh, slogan, rather. Sorry. Tempered Trail built to outlast. Oh, that's a clever. I, I really love a, a turn of phrase. I really, really do. Um, so yeah, here's this. Um, this is 100% made in the United States, which I really appreciate. You know, you know, root for the home team. It doesn't. It's not the the be all end all. Let's see. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. Uh, I don't need that. So I got a couple of cards here, a few cards um, that I'll slip in there and we'll kind of go from there, see more or less if it's a better fit. And it is, I got kind of some of the bulk, bulky stuff out of it. I got a couple of 
few business cards and stuff and, and uh, uh, yeah, so that's really nice. Now what I need to do is I need to dig up my um, leather strop from Paradrop Leather and then see if that will seat in there. But I can also get quick access through this side too if I really, really needed to. So that's pretty cool too. You kind of get this like uh, like ergonomic design factor of, of a, I don't want to call it, like compare it to the Hitchhiker because this is its own wallet. And look at that little brass aglet. If you guys don't know what these are called, sorry, I'm trying to get a, a better, there it is. If you guys don't know what the ends of like your shoelaces and stuff are called, it's called the aglet. Um, so yeah, that's got a, it's got a nice little brass one. Wonderful little yellow uh, lanyard to kind of accent the whole thing, which I really love the lanyard hole for the hitchhiker. So this works really well. I may swap my, uh, um, what do you call that, bead out and throw it in there, but we'll see. Who knows? Time will tell. Um, this is really good for me now because now instead of carrying my two major cards, which are my ID and my um, debit card, uh, I, I, I now have to carry more cards because uh, I now have company cards that I have to keep track of. Um, and so that's going to be kind of like really important that I keep track of those and that I have those, not use them all the time, but uh, that way I have like that, uh, um, uh, that room in, the, in this. If I wanted to carry more cards in this, which I did, I had to get rid of my um, para drop leather strop. It's a it's a it's a wallet strop. Um, so uh, I had to get rid of that and to make room for for more cards and business cards and stuff too. So this this works really well. I actually really like this. I don't mind this. You could probably do um, cash in half and slide it in there and have quick access to it. But it looks like it'll let's let's try to test it in the pocket. It's going to be a little bit wider like I said, but it's still uh, capable of being carried in the front pocket. So cool. The Temper Trail uh, Johnny is a really, really, really cool wallet. Um, I will be, you know, obviously posting pictures. I'll give you guys a, uh, a full review of that uh, here later. Um, and I can tell you more or less how I like it. Now I've had one other really good wallet that I really like, which I don't have on hand right now but it was by Valley Leatherworks. Uh, you guys may remember it, you may not, and that's fine. But that was a great wallet that I used to have and it was very slim and it was a bifold and it carried everything that I needed and didn't carry anything that I didn't. And so um, this is just a different change of pace because now I get to try a new wallet out. Um, usually once I get the wallet thing figured out is like, like that's kind of where I'm, where I'm at, you know, with the wallet thing. So this is really fun, this is really exciting. You guys go check them out. I am gonna link uh, Nathan's account, Temper Trail, down below. Um, so why don't you go guys uh, check it out, see what he's got on his website, uh, and see if there's anything that sticks out to you. He's got a couple of other designs, I believe, at least one more design, because I think those are the two that I was going back and forth with. And then of course, he's got some, maybe some like uh, passport holders, but don't quote me on that because I need to go double check. I really appreciate this, brother. Thank you very much. I'm gonna take some pictures of it here uh, after a little while. And uh, yeah, we'll get this thing reviewed for you guys. Um, sorry for the delay. Uh, there have been some life changes and that has taken priority over the channel. So uh, announcements will come on that soon. I just really wanted to knock out this unboxing. Um, but guys, uh, just know that I'm still trying to do this thing. Uh, other things took uh, took priority and uh, this is kind of my way of making it up uh, and we'll just keep on going from there. How about that? <laughs> Thanks guys. You guys have a wonderful day. May the Lord bless you. Amen. Bye.